Good morning YouTube, so with today's video, let's dive in the brand of Diesel. It's going to be a DK review of their latest release, Sound of the Brave, which was launched this year in 2021 and it's classed as the Woody Aromatic. This review is just like a spur of the moment video. I ended up filming this one like maybe a month, month and a half ago, released it and I deleted it within like an hour. Just I wasn't happy with the video and I thought, oh god, I'm not going to be doing any more Diesels, but here I am, I'm just trying to pump up some new releases that came out this year for December. Let's just dive into this one here. Note breakdown. Top notes are going to be juniper, lemon, with me being sweet grass, and the base is going to be amber wood. So what do I get? Now, I've been wearing this one for like the last three days. I wasn't sure if I was going to record it today, but I am here. So it's been on this for the last three hours, and it's been on here for like the last three minutes. The opening is a lot more citrusy. There is a little bit of that juniper, but there is a bit, a bit of a bubblegum sweetness. In some ways, this does remind me of uh, like something like Paco Rabanne Invictus. The dry down does have that sweet grass, but it is like a bit of a green herbal vibe. I don't know if it's really sweet grass, but the fragrance itself, from opening to end, has that sweet, has that sweet youthful vibe to it. The dry down has an ambery woody feel, so amber wood. The fragrance overall is kind of like your, just your generic mall scent. This is a good scent for a younger person, someone in their teens and early 20s. The brand itself, because it's in the shape of a fist itself, I find that this brand is more so suited for the younger demographics. But if you're an older guy like myself, I'm 45 almost, who likes to wear these types of fragrances, then rock it with pride. But I just find that this would do best with someone who's younger. It's an everyday fragrance, so school, casual, and night out. Not a club, but something like a date or a casual night out. So a casual night out, like let's say dinner, movies, dinner, and pool hall, or billiards, darts, bowling, whatever. This is not really a club scent. I do find that there is a little bit of a sweet, playful vibe to it. Like a little bit of a flirty fragrance that when a girl comes into your space that she's gonna like this one. This will garner you a few compliments. This is best suited for spring and fall, but I do think that you can wear it in the wintertime. Summertime is gonna be a little bit too hot. If you're gonna wear it on a summer night out, then yes, but, but in the summertime when it's just absolutely humid, this is gonna be too cloying for you, but also for the girl that you're trying to impress. Longevity off this, the first time that I wore it like, two months ago, and I've tried this in the summertime. Oh, <laughs> big mistake. But when I tried this for like the initial review that I did a couple months ago, or like a, a month ago, this lasted like seven to eight hours. And when I tried it again for the last, like the last two, three days, I got the same time. So longevity is good, seven to eight hours. Projection is more so on the moderate side. However, if you do over apply, like I find that three sprays and you're good. If you do five or more, you really do risk choking some people out. This can be a little, a little bit cloying. How much is this one gonna cost you? You're looking to spend about $100 Canadian, so at the HBC, Shoppers Drug Mart, maybe even the official diesel store that's at the, the Toronto Premium Outlet Mall out in Milton. So if you're from Toronto, you definitely know where, you've, probably, you've more than likely been there. God, I hate that place, too busy for me. But I have not seen this on the on any online discounters, unfortunately. I, I thought I saw it on Fragrance Buy, but in due time, it will definitely hit the discounters. Just Fragrance Buy is gonna be your first place to look, really, because they get all the new releases first. Wife's thoughts. Wife thought that this was a nice, sweet, playful fragrance that has a nice little bit of an ambery touch to it, and she does like it. More on the young side, however. In the end, would I recommend this one? Yeah, I really would. I would recommend it to someone who's in their early 20s or just someone who's in high school. This is not a fragrance for someone who has so many fragrances, however. So if you are into your journey and you are a young person, if you're a young person who has, let's say, like 12 or 15, you don't need this. You truly don't. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna be honest with you and tell you just to save your money. Look elsewhere. But overall, it's not a bad fragrance. It is generic. It does smell like other things out there. Some people have said on Fragrantica that it does have like a bit of a JPG Ultra Mall vibe and a JPG scandal. In some ways, it has a little bit of that DNA. But for me, it, has, it does have that Invictus vibe. 
I'm not a big fan of Invictus. It's not bad, but I just find that this is done better. So in the end, guys, you're going to have to smell this one out for yourself. And if you're a young person, look into it. You just might like it. So that is my review of Diesel's Sound of the Brave. If you like this very video, make sure to give me one of these. And what videos to watch next? Well, whatever pops up on this corner here if you're a young guy. So, guys, thank you for your time. Take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.